<laughs> and it looks like we are live again. Hello, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Dennis, uh, developer advocate with Amazon Web Services. And now we're going to talk about the newly announced AWS Systems Manager Application Manager. I, and I have on, uh, on the stream with me Kai and Swami. Kai, what, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi everyone, uh, I'm Kai Xin Liu. I'm the front engineer on the team. I've been with AWS for uh, seven years now, and I'm always been with Systems Manager. So <laughs> I'm really excited about this launch today. Yeah. Ah, that's nice. That's, <laughs> is it? Is it your first launch? Uh, no, it's not my first launch. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Swami, what about you? Well, I'm the. For me, it's definitely the first launch. Uh, I've been with AWS for almost four months now. And I'm the product manager in the system manager team. And I work closely with Kai and we both worked on the application manager product. Ah, that's nice. Great. Okay. So for everyone, if you have any questions for me or for the guests on the show, um, please send a tweet to AWS on air, or if you are on Twitch, you can just write in the Twitch commands. And if, uh, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, just let us know and we will make sure that we that I will relay it to my guests. Okay, today we are talking about the AWS Systems Manager Application Manager, which is a new capability of the AWS Systems Manager. Um, what exactly is the Application Manager? So Application Manager um, is a new feature that enables developers and operators to discover their applications and view all their operational data and perform actions within the context of an application. So for example, with application manager, the customers um, can discover various resources that are spread across multiple AWS services, and they can sort of get an aggregated view of all of them. And after the resources are discovered, they can actually view their operational and compliance data, like alarms, uh, operational issues, logs, everything in a single dashboard. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the core functionality of AWS uh, uh, Application Manager system. Uh, uh, that's the core functionality of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and what, what, why is that interesting for our customers? What specific problem does that solve? Uh, today, um, before we introduced this, when developers and operators uh, had to manage uh, the health of their applications and they have to take actions and they have to uh, resolve issues, they basically have to view data such like resources, logs, et cetera, uh, from multiple consoles. They have to go from one to another and they have to start correlating all of these things to, to understand and uh, debug issues. And this basically increases the time to uh, resolve problems. So what um, application manager essentially does is it provides all the information. It allows customers to define what an application is for them. They could import it from uh, multiple places and put it. They can redefine what an application means for them. And for that application, now they can track everything, all the optional issues one single place. So for example, something like this for an engineer, uh, it'll be very crucial uh, for them uh, because they can, don't have to go to multiple contact consoles, they don't have to do any context switching, and there are very few human touch points involved. So that's the, the core of it, right? It's like one single place, I get to define abstraction of prediction, what it means to me, and then everything is aggregated or shown in a single dashboard. So I think, th so from an e views perspective, this allows me uh, look at, not only look at everything, I can also drill down from there, do all my operational actions from there. So on for playback, I can also go fix. Yeah, we have, uh, we have real some, problem itself. Yeah, we seem to have some slight technical issues with the connection right now, Swami. I think we were able to understand what you were saying. So basically we have, uh, you have all your operational data uh, relating to your application uh, in a single pane of glass, so you don't ha don't have to go into all kinds yes. of consoles to pull everything together. And on the other hand, something else that I've seen quite some time, uh, quite a couple of times, um, 
it, out in the field was when there were multiple applications running inside of one AWS account, account it could become quite crowded and the information uh, bleeded into each other and would, it was really hard to distinguish what was exactly. what came from which application. Is that something that Application Manager helps with as well? Definitely. So when you have multiple applications, it allows you to see all of them in a dashboard. And if you want to change the definition, let's say you think like what's showing up is, hey, these three are components of an application. I don't want them to see them separately. You could go and redefine what an application is for you and I can go and edit the application definition. And from mm -hmm. that point onwards, you would see everything grouped in that level, like how you redefined. So, so it okay. does definitely allow you to clear up the clutter like that you just brought up. Mm -hmm. It does okay, solve that problem. Great. Um, speaking of applications, I mean, we in IT, we are very good at having very fuzzy terms, terms that mean a lot of things. What, what is an application in this sense, or what types of applications does uh, the application manager support? Uh, right now, application manager can uh, import definition of applications from multiple sources. Uh, one is resource groups. So if you have resource groups defined, in your account already, you can use them as a potential source to discover applications. Uh, cloud formation stacks is a second example where existing cloud formation stacks in your account would be automatically discovered. Uh, if you're launching applications using the launch wizard, that's another example of something we support today um, that would automatically be discovered and it'll show up in, in the application management console. And additionally, we are also bringing in um, uh, an EKS clusters, so if you have one or more EKS clusters in your account, uh, we will discover those and show the entire unit as a single application inside the console. So these are all the places from which you can import applications. And as I said earlier, once you have done that, we have integrated with CloudWatch alarms and logs, we are integrated with Config, we are integrated with CloudTrail, and the Ops Center and Systems Manager. So all of these uh, uh, services that we have integrated with, we will be able to pull all the operational items from these and provide all the visibility for any one of these application types uh, across these services that we have. And then once you have uh, resolved an issue, you can use the uh, systems manager automation runbooks to go and remediate all of them. So this is sort of the big picture of what we provide applications we integrated with and also the the frameworks that we integrate with to resolve their issues. Mm, that's great. Um, I'm gonna bring up I'm gonna bring up a different screen now. And uh, Kai uh, Kai wanted to walk us through um, through the uh, systems manager application manager real quick. All right, sure. <laughs> so uh, if you come to the AWS yeah, systems just, manager, give me just just, just yeah. one second, please, Kai. We have that scratchy noise with your oh. microphone. <laughs> I don't know if it right, helps right. if you plug in the other one again. All right, I'll switch, switch real quick. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. We have some technical issues right now. Um, in the meantime, oh, oh, while, no. while Kai is setting that up, if you want to know more about the AWS Systems yeah. Manager Application Manager, I've put up a short link here on the screen, bit.ly slash AWS App Manager, all small letters. Um, have a look. It's um, that's a blog post that really walks you through the the steps uh, to set it up and to to use it. So Kai, what about your voice now? Right. <laughs> yeah, it sounds. I much hope better. it's better right now. Yeah, okay, it's much, perfect. Much better. <laughs> so yeah, here we are at the AWS Systems Manager homepage, and then you'll be able to find uh, the Application Manager, which is the new feature we're launching. Uh, clicking on it, and it will bring you to our uh, homepage. So I have a couple of uh, testing data in my account right now. So uh, you can see uh, there's a get started section to get you uh, pointed to the uh, documentation. Uh, but the most important part I want to show you guys is the uh, application view. So today we support uh, four different kind of application uh, types uh, at launch. So if you have call formation stacks, you have resource groups, you have launch wizard applications, or you have EKS clusters. You don't need to do any additional step. Those are uh, listed for you uh, right now, uh, once you visit the console. And then- uh, Okay, so so the existing cloud formation stacks that I already have are being shown here. Yeah, they will show up here. And okay, it's that's a, great. It's, it's a one-click 
uh, onboarding process. So the first time you click on that, we imported that into our console. Then in the future, you will be able to get information for that CloudFormation step. Uh, so right now, I usually just come to uh, the WordPress one that we have as demo. Uh, some application might have uh, nested uh, components within it. Uh, for this demo, uh, we only have the top level one. So I'm going to collapse on the uh, sign navigation bar here. So for you, uh, as an engineer or IT professional, you come here, you wanna take a look at what's the uh, healthy healthiness of our uh, service or my component. So you'll be able to get your alarm count, you'll get all the ops items with, uh, that's related to the resources in this application. And you can get a, a quick view of what ROM book has been executed on this uh, application. Mm -hmm. uh, the most important part is this whole page is running under the context of application. So we talk about that crowdedness when you have multiple application running under single AWS account. So this is uh, designed to, uh, for you to be focused on the application that you're working on. Mm -hmm. uh, second tab here, uh, is a quick access to the list of all the resources within that. Oh, all patient. the resources in one yeah. place. That's really great. <laughs> yeah, and it actually redirect you to their console or give you a quick information about these resources. And then uh, there's also compliance. Uh, AWS has uh, AWS config service that you can configure uh, rules and then you can quickly see, hey, am I uh, compliant for all the rule that's applied to my organization mm. today? And there's also association. I don't have any right now, uh, but you, you get the idea. You can uh, have all your compliance data uh, in this tab as well. Mm. And uh, we're integrated with CloudWatch uh, dashboard. So once you uh, create an application, you are able to uh, have a, a customizable uh, dashboard that you want to show also in the same screen. Uh, this is editable. You can uh, customize and uh, put the most important graph that shows your KPI, shows your uh, system health uh, inside this monitoring tab. And there's also ops item, which is more like a ticketing system uh, under uh, system managers ops center. So mm -hmm. you can click on these. These are all related to the uh, resources under this application. So the same thing for log. Log right now, we're showing all the logs under your account, which is different from others, but it still pr provides a quick access. And you can quickly uh, use a free text search uh, to get to the logs that you need to. Uh, okay, so, look at. so that aggregates all the Lambda and the EKS and the, the, the EC2 application logs and so forth. Yeah, these are in CloudWatch. So as okay. long as you have the log in CloudWatch and you can quick with one click, it will take you to the CloudWatch console. Okay. Uh, the last step is the ROM book. So Swami bring up the really important point. We help you uh, validate, uh, we help you check your system health. We help you validate with compliance. But what happened when there's an issue that you need to remediate? So the ROM book logs is where we uh, want to bring uh, want to make it easier to remediate these issues. So yeah, you, you don't want to you don't want to SSH <laughs> into the instance and then start start changing things and nobody after yeah. afterwards nobody knows what happened so right. yeah right you want to have a controlled way of of bringing in changes and bringing in remediations yeah yes mm. so this wrong book list on the upper right uh, you can start a wrong book it's taking a little bit longer time because we're trying to identify what wrong books are available for this uh, resource when you have uh, more resources take a little bit longer uh, to run Mm -hmm. You see it loads. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's still loading. Yeah, it's still loading. Oh, hopefully it pops up. <laughs> yeah. While while we wait, um yeah. um um Swami, what when is this feature available? When is when can our customers use that? So customers can use this feature right now. Uh, mm -hmm. we launched on the fifteenth of uh, December mm -hmm. and the feature is available um to anybody who has a, who's already using System Manager, they, there's no additional cost, nothing at all. It's it's free of charge. So, okay. if you're using System Manager, all you have to do is go click on the Application Manager uh, link there, and it, the feature should show up. Okay, that's great. Any restrictions regarding region regional availability? So right now, uh, this uh, the the Application Manager 
feature is available across all AWS commercial regions in the US. Uh, it is available on AWS GovCloud US and uh, AWS China regions. So those okay. are the commercial GovCloud and China okay. are the three regions we support. That's great. So it looks like like we have All some right. data. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely something that I can look into. Uh, but it's still uh, here uh, popping up. These are uh, run books that you can uh, do a free text search. And then once you select one, for example, you want to uh, create a new snapshot uh, before you restart all your instance. When you choose that, it will open a new tab and bring you to the automation console where you can fill in the parameters and just go from there. Oh yeah, so that's back again into, so basically what I understand is that the Systems Manager Application Manager really is a, a separate console that helps you aggregate all the data and then go to wherever you need to go. Either go to run, uh, to your automation runbooks, uh, go to the to the resources that you're looking at, go to the AWS config rules that might be non, uh, might, uh, so you might have some compliance violations go directly in there. So it really is a way for the customer to see their application or see all the resources and all the logs and the, the alarms and metrics yep. um, in the context of a specific application. And this application, um, is something that you can define. The boundaries is something that you can define, right? Yes. Yeah, I think the most important part is uh, without application manager, what you start looking into an issue is that you open the EC2 console, you open the CloudWatch console, you probably have four or five windows open all at the same time. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and that, yeah that's, that's life, right? <laughs> and for application manager, this is your starting point. You come here, and then uh, hopefully you will see something that's in red and then you click on that and start from there. That will yeah. give you, uh, that will reduce the time that you travel between different consoles and then hopefully help you remediate your issue uh, quickly that, and really fast. Yeah, that's yeah. that's really great. That's a yeah. nice feature. Yeah, I'm looking to looking forward to working with that because I know, <laughs> I know having many tabs open, <laughs> even having to log into multiple accounts. <laughs> All right, um, it looks like we're, um, almost done thank you so much for being on the show swami and kai um thank you everyone for watching maybe just real quick i mean reinvent is as good as over uh it has been three weeks it was exciting it was exhausting yep. it was uh i spent a lot of time in front of my computer <laughs> uh, watching videos producing videos um it was really great i mean I would have loved to go to Las Vegas, but on the other hand, it was really great because we could watch everything from, from our own living room. And apart from your own launch, did you get the chance to watch anything, Swami? Was there anything that you liked about this year's reInvent? Yeah, I love both the keynotes. Um, uh, the first one from Andy and the Werner's keynote yesterday. Mm -hmm. um, and what they both conveyed to me is the amount of customer obsession that we have in AWS and how we are all maniacally focused in solving customer problems. So yes. again, I've been only here four months, but I'm I'm already, I can see the energy level on solving customer problems. So. Yeah, it's a special place. It's a quite special place. Kai, what about you? Anything interesting for you? Uh, I actually really like this year's Green Band. So before it was only people on site on the, in Las Vegas be able to join, right? But this year, we actually see a uh, live real-time uh, Twitter feed and then uh, uh, chats that are coming all in real time. I think that's really exciting. Yeah, yeah that's really great. Um, and I don't know if I really want to be in Las Vegas. <laughs> I would like to be at Life Reinvent to meet everybody because I haven't, I've been at home for 10 months. <laughs> yeah, I'd really like to see people. Anyway, I wish you a great day. I wish everyone a great day. Have a great rest of reInvent. Uh, well, it's really almost over, right? <laughs> so yeah. We're almost done. Anyway, um, have nice holidays. I will see everyone next year. Right okay. in Las Vegas, hopefully. <laughs> okay, take Thank care. You. Goodbye. Bye. See Thank you, you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.